Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commando Hoops. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please do like and subscribe below. It would be fantastic. So Celtic for Man City 3. Not a game of FIFA. Celtic went to North Carolina tonight, Chapel Hill, and beat the champions of England, the former European champions as well. Two goals from Nicholas Cohn, Kyogo. And Lewis Palmer as well. Really decent game to watch. Seven goals in it. You know, we started really well in the first half. Some cracking saves from the debutante. Kasper Schmeichel. Some really good saves in it as well to keep Celtic in it. And the two goals that Nicholas Cohn scored were absolute crackers as well. Really good goals. And hopefully this is a really successful season. I know the four six months was gelling them in from the mill from Rapid Vienna. But you could see him down that right flank when the way he turns and then hits on his left. Remarkable stuff. I thought Days in my head it was fantastic on the left flank tonight. I thought Callum McGregor pushed the team really well. You know, Matt Roy looked well. Rio Atate with assists as well. Looked push, pushed up really good. Anthony Rolson looked solid. And look at early enough in the game, Stephen Welch got stuck in to Jack Reedish with a crack and tackle. But Cashbrush Michaels, distribution of the ball, very composed. Some really good saves in the game, like four decent saves for, for Celtic. And then at half time, he changed the personnel around. Sensalo came on, and he couldn't do much about the two goals. Two lovely finishes, Haaland in the air, and then a lovely finesse shot. But he did pull off a couple of saves as well in the game. And then counter attack football. James Forrest was on fire when he came on for Celtic with the captain's armband on that right flank. I thought Mikey Johnson played quite well, but. Who grafted well in the midfield was Odin Home. He has been very impressive in pre season. And I put up on my socials earlier on today that I would have started him in the game. But pre season is all about getting the legs, the movement, the body in, in the right way. And we have Chelsea to go now on Saturday night. And then the boys will jet back to Glasgow a week of preparation before we kick off the season to Kilmarnock. I know we've been talking about strikers on the channel, we're talking about centre backs. You know, it was great to see young Anderson coming on and Donald come on as well. I think it's obviously good to see these players come on and obviously get experience at the end of the day, being a part of the senior squad over in the preseason. It means that they can step the game up as youth players. And it's good to see even Larga, Bielke, Kwan, players like that getting it a nod tonight and we'll move on. But we really do need to strengthen in the front line. Look, at the wingers were remarkable tonight you know it was a lovely pass by Lewis Palmer and Mikey Johnson couldn't capitalise with with the header went wide but Pep Guardiola be snapping I know that's their first game of pre-season but it's a big win for Celtic fans at the end of the day we we all get the piss ripped out it was about Scottish football being a farmers league we're playing a we're playing a team that you know has a remarkable budget you know probably a squad of nearly you know, half a billion there when you look at it. the remarkable signings they've made and Haaland's a great player look at it the goal he scored tonight but we'll take that win a bit of bragging rights a bit of banter you know Brendan be proud of the guys they can they can relax for the next couple of days and then look forward to playing Chelsea the weekend and you know delighted for Casper Schmeichel I'm delighted for St Salah I'm delighted for the, the team and delighted for Nicholas Cole most of all because there were two remarkable goals. But I'm going to leave it there, folks. Let us know who your man the match was, and I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.